while your brain is doing all that, there's something else to consider. As all that information from your sensory systems is being put together, there's something else that could change what behavior you do. That something else is your perception of the information. What's perception? Well, perception or perceiving something is you being aware of what's going on in the world from the information you get from your sensory systems. And sorry, but this is always changing too, just like the world around you is always changing. Plus, everyone perceives things differently based on a lot of different things. Let's say that you like chocolate ice cream, but your friend likes vanilla ice cream. To you, chocolate tastes better than vanilla. You know this because you've tried both flavors. So when given a choice, you choose chocolate. When your friend is giving a choice, they choose vanilla. Plus, how you perceive things changes at different times in your life. When you were little, you liked songs like The Wheels on the Bus. Now, you might like songs by Taylor Swift or Pharrell Williams or Selena Gomez better. Perceptions can also change based on your past experiences. What if when you were little, you were bitten by a dog? So now when you see a dog, you see an animal that could potentially bite you again. You don't see a cute, cuddly animal that's potentially your friend. Now, your perception of dogs could change. If you spend more time with dogs and you're not bitten, then you might begin to like dogs and not feel like they're just animals that want to take a bite out of you. Perceptions can also change based on what you're paying attention to. Let's say that you're sitting in a classroom and the teacher's talking. You should be listening to the teacher, but be your friend behind you is whispering something. You can't hear him that well, so you turn your head and you focus your attention on what your friend is saying. Of course, at that particular time, the teacher decides to ask you a question, but you don't know what they were saying because you were trying hard to listen to your friend. Yikes! Perceptions can also change based on your emotional state. Let's say that your family just moved into a new neighborhood and it's your first day at your new school. You may be angry because you liked your old school and your old friends. You're in a bad mood. And even though everyone is being really nice, you decide you don't like any of the new kids. Luckily, your perceptions can change. In fact, the more time that you spend with the new kids, the more you realize they are fun and interesting. Lucky for you too, that the new kids who may have perceived you as being not very nice because you were in a bad mood, may also learn that you can be nice. Perceptions can also change based on your expectations. When we expect to see, hear, feel, taste, or smell one thing, then we actually change what we may be see, hear, feel, taste, or smelling. This is where we get sensory illusions, my favorite. Now, let's say if you saw this picture and you had to choose whether the dot was closer to the top or the bottom of the triangle, what would you say? Most likely you'd choose the top or the bottom because my question made you think the dot was closer to the top or the bottom. But in reality, the dot is exactly in the middle of the triangle. Sensory illusions are a lot of fun, but they also tell us that even though our sensory systems may be getting the correct information, our brain has to put everything together and the information we perceive may be different from the information that we got.